that's more why I think Corvi's in. Uh, it's gonna depend on what fairy type there is. So we will we'll find out once I get to the fairy gym. Hey, far fetched. What what is this? <laughs> this gigantic damn leak. So let's let's hone claws. But remember also that Corvi Knight comes with a built-in booster. Ah, he has Rock Smash. That kind of that's kind of annoying. But it has a it has Hone Claws and it also has Power Trip, which not only gives it dark, but if I boost it, it gets stupid powerful. So this thing has coverage like hell. Bye. So yeah, that's that's why I think that Corvi Knight's absolute or yeah, Corvi Knight in general is absolutely in. I have yet to see another Pokemon that would do better than what it does. Yeah, it doesn't go first, but I can X speed it, and I think it'll go first. Like, if I need to go first, X speed exists. Oh, okay, I have to go around. Okay. I see. Because in, uh, in this generation, just like last generation, the X items are a doubler. Okay, that was really irritating. Its attack isn't amazing, amazing, but I think the coverage is gonna... Um... It's going to make it that good. I think just from the coverage. Like, this thing in Sobel just kills. Uh, you can tell me after I beat the gym. Which, admittedly, is not going to take very long. Because Corviknight doesn't care and I'm five levels overleveled. I think it's also going to help that we have experience share right off the bat, and I can just swap them back and forth. As I said, you can tell me after the gym. And then also, you can get you can get Corvi early, early. Okay. So, let's see. So this is a fighting type gym. I'm flying type, so not only do I have type advantage, but it's going to be not very effective. So, I'm probably going to... Do I just X attack and X speed and be done? That sounds like the way to go. Corby lost its fighting resist. Yeah. This is B. Hi, B. Do you have an unshakable spirit that won't be moved no matter how you are attacked? Oh, okay, yeah, it did lose its resist. But I'm not terribly worried about that. Keep in mind, by this time in the speed run, it won't be Corby Knight. It'll still be Corva uh Corva Squire. Man, counter doesn't work if I don't hit you, huh? Oh, I don't have X speed. Okay, that's fine. I'll just double X attack. I didn't remember to buy some X speeds. Yeah. Well, I still outspeed that.
This thing does have snow cloak, so let's astonish. Let's see. Pangoro's got Mold Breaker. I don't really care. I'm... Safety strats? I'm going to Super Potion. Okay. Oh, and it works up anyways. So it's going to copy my stats, right? Copy my stat changes? Nope, just attack and special attack. Okay. No, Psych Up is the... Okay. It's not Psych Up. I still outspeed you. I'm only four levels higher, so... Well, now five levels higher. Mateleon levels up. Okay, so I keep on seeing Liquidation. What is this move? Slams to the target using a full-force blast of water. Uh, I don't think that's worth doing. Yeah, because... Water Pulse is still going to be stronger. Okay, Surfetch. Now, Surfetched her... Is this her her main? No, she would have said something. Okay. Uh, so, the big question is, did Surfetched get a type change? Okay, I'm going to make the assumption that because it's surfetched, it's flying steel. No. Fighting steel. Right, because the last, because it's fighting, apparently, because it was in this gym. So, I'm making that assumption, so we're going to power trip instead. Let's see how I did. Not very effective. Okay. So, I was... Am I wrong, or am I forgetting type matchups? Steel. Dark? No. Oh, because dark's, dark's bad against fighting. I'm bad. Dark's bad against fighting. Okay. I'm going to try Drill Peck. Or do I just want to... Do I just want to Dynamax? I'm just going to Dynamax now, I think. Yeah, I, for, I forgot that uh, Dark is only half effective against fighting. It's the fighting that's the problem. I think... I still think he's fighting Steel, though. I'm going to have to figure that out afterwards. Yeah! Do this shit, Corby Knight! Ooh! Okay, hold on. Flying. So, no, flying is only half effective against steel, so... So, it's not steel, because I wouldn't have been super effective. Okay, Meowth leveled up. Nice. Wingle leveled up. Also nice. Yeah, so it's not steel. Maybe it's just fighting. Maybe it's fighting flying? Might be fighting flying. I missed who the new next one is. Oh, here comes the hype music. Ha ha ha! Machamp! Makes perfect sense. Okay, let's do it. Let's just destroy everything. Wait, she's got Gigantamax? Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, crap. This seems really bad. I still outspeed it. And I still one-shot it. Okay. get wrecked. Still, epic. 
and Benai levels up again, and so is Pillswine. Haha! -ha! Another gym down! <laughs> it only took me six hours to get here. <laughs> Let the fighting spirit of your Pokemon as you let them battle. Money! And hey, there's a Wingull evolution. Nice. <coughs> okay. Hmm. Ah, it's pure fighting. Okay. Some Mr. Disguise carrying small Pokemon egg safety and spill. Yep. Makes sense. Okay. Good sportsmanship incoming. Yep. Thank you for the battle. Basically, you gave me all the explanation I needed. Battling against Junior Team. Had expected it, but it made my heart dance. It's good to be unshakable in the face of battle, but it's good to be moved by battle as well. Thank you again. Take the fighting badge. Nice. You can now catch Pokemon up to level 40, and I'm assuming I can control up to level 50. Hope that you'll uh, meet many more trainers and have many more matches in the future. And hope that every one of those encounters will nourish your spirit. Oh, I like B. B's fun. Congratulations to being Leader B. Please take this TM. Revenge. Okay. It's doubled to the user has been hurt by the opponent in the same turn. Okay, got a fighting gym uniform. Fighting badge suits you. Okay, hope you carry on just as you've been doing. I will. I was about to give up, but watching your battle inspired me. Decided to keep going. Please do. I like having you guys help me cheer, help cheer me on. I did win. I am wicked. Learn from the battle I had against the fighting type gym leader. Okay, neat. Yeah, poor Sir Fetched. Bow Wark. Hi. Your Yamper does really like me. Okay, did you learn something? You know the mural here in Stow on side? I haven't seen it yet. It's said to the story of the hero of Galar as well. Though what's there today is actually a replica of the ancient art that used to be here. You tend to have a surprisingly sharp insight, so I was wondering what you might think when you see the ruins. Uh-oh. Shit! Something went boom! Uh-oh. Yeah, what, what, what's the trivia? I am sitting. I don't typically stand while playing video games. Okay, let's go put the Pelipper away. Because I no longer need this in my party. This gym's exclusive to sword. Interesting. Okay. Uh, b -b -b I guess I'll do Mudbray next. Sure. Because that actually might affect um, the speedrun. So what went boom over here? Ghost! Huh! Interesting. Oh! It, so are all the uniforms I can buy in the, uh, the, the, sh the uniform shop the uniforms of the gyms I don't have? What's going on up there? Let's find out. Something is happening at the ruins. Okay, that being said, uh, let's swap... Let's swap Pillow Swine to the front. Because Corvus... Corviknight is now... Really, uh, it's either all the gyms the other one has, or just all the uh, all the gyms that don't exist. Am I a gym challenger? I am. What's going on up here? Beat, are you breaking things? D you're breaking murals, you shit. Hopefully, this Pokemon will understand that it shouldn't be breaking shit. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Okay, what do I know about this Pokemon? This Pokemon is probably ground type. Do I want to pillow swine into that? No. I'm gonna let Inteleon lead. Sup? Yep, me again. You can start collecting wishing stars now and get the chairman's favor? I don't care. I'll do some cunning move and won't have it. Won't allow anyone to stand in your way. Okay, we're gonna combat him. The Giga Dynamax met my champ. Uh, it looks cool. Yeah. Okay, so now you have a level... Oh, okay, it's still Psychic, though. 
I didn't need to swap out at all. Um, I'm going to sucker punch it. Oh, what is it doing? Oh, it's reflecting. Okay, so physical is a problem. I mentioned... Yeah, I'm just going to U-turn. It was a crit, too. Nice. Are you more than enough to judge me and my team's abilities? If you say so. Sure, I can learn Stomp. Uh, instead of... Oh, actually, I, I kind of like it. Ugh. Hmm. I should drop Rock Smash. I didn't intend to kill it, to be honest. Um, okay, I'm gonna say I'm gonna go ahead and swap Pillswine in. I may... But I think he's gonna go to the Gothica... The, the, the second Gothita evolution. Hatrum. No, that's his, that's his Psychic. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna swap Meowth in and see if we can take it out. But it's good to know this thing has a uh, evolution. And we'll, we'll see about Bite. Ooh, I like it. That looks like it's going to be fairy, though. My partner's move is simply splendid, wouldn't you say? What is your partner's move? Psybeam. Okay, yeah, you, you used a psychic ability. I'm, I'm not surprised in the slightest. So here's my question. Are you still pure psychic? Yes, you are. Okay. Yeah, use side beam, that's fine. Unless you crit, you're not winning. The only reason you're not dead now is you had reflect up. Okay, so there goes Hatrim. Probably pure psychic. Melee hits level 23, Mudbray hits level 17. Okay. Uh, do I just want to let Corviknight just kill this thing? Yeah, we'll let Corviknight just kill this thing. I don't mind, uh... Just because of how much me damage Meowth took, it can't work against this thing right now. Yeah, it's Gotharita. So, pure dark. Okay. Uh, no! Not, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to use Steel Wing. <clears throat> Wait, what? Is Gotharita psychic? I could have sworn Gotharita was dark. It's Psychic. Is he a 100% Psychic team? He must be a 100% Psychic team, and I'm just dumb. Okay, you know what? This is what we're going to do. I'm going to Home Claws. Because I don't care. Ow. Oh, you dick. Home claws again, please. Gotharita, bad things are about to happen to you. If you confuse me again, I'm going to be very pissed off. Nope, but you critted. Oh my god, and you freaking confused again? A crit and a second confuse. Okay, you know what? Fuck you. 
Also, this ain't missing. Bye. Get wrecked, nerd. Corviknight up to level 40. And then he gets his psychic ponyta. Have to win this the chairman? Do you really think I'd let you keep me for everything I want? You're not gonna stop me! Unless this ponyta is really, really fast. Nope. Bye. Okay, so further reasons why Corviknight is gonna be basically the main of my speedrun. You demand a do-over? Dude, you're a psychic user, and I have a guy that has a really strong dark attack. Bite me. How could someone like you get in my way? I'm better than you are. You're the one chosen by the chairman. You're the one who was to defeat the champion. You're one of the elite, someone who can shoulder the future of the Galar region. About that. The crap's you doing, dude? You asked to borrow Chairman Rosa's Copperaja, so it's, it's steel? Steel Earth, maybe? Can't believe you tried to use the chairman's Pokemon to destroy a historical site. Guess from ancient ruin, and the next thousand years are at stake. Did you stand in the path of Pokemon's simple beam or something? Ooh! How do you expect to support the chairman with that sort of thinking? Okay, how evil is he? Young Bead. Pains me to have to say this, but I am truly disappointed. It's true that I'm the one who found you back when you were all alone. I saw talent in you. It reminded me a little bit of myself back when I was young. That's why I sent you to a trainer school to give you a chance to success. By trying to destroy the mural, part of Galar's history, you show no love towards Galar. You're clearly not a worthy challenger for the gym challenge. We'll decide what to do with you later. For now, you'll turn to Hammerlock. Okay, never mind. Maybe Rose isn't evil. I keep on thinking he has to be, but maybe he's not. Maybe he is just like a Tony Stark. You're just qualifying me for the gym challenge, but you're the one who does endorse me. There are a hundred different ways we could sort this out. Why are you choosing the worst possible option? Ooh, man. That's a thing that happened. Sonia, terrible shame, all this, an absolute disaster. Never wish to see us lose challengers for this sort of reason, yet we do what we must to keep things fair and sportsmanlike. You know, during one of Bede's matches, I heard the announcer say that Bede has no family. Apparently it was Rose who took Bede under his wing, and so Bede was battling for the chairman's sake. What an awful turn of events. I hope the mural survived all that. It has a hole in it. Oh, no. The mural is bro- Oh. Well, then! The mural is broken, but look! There's a statue that's relevant. <laughs> yeah, there is there is two Pokemon. You're right. Two. Two equals the amount of people that were in that mural. I think she came to conclusions. But look, the people are in the background. Not a brilliant turn of events, but the ruins were brought into the light for us to see. What does this tell us about Galar's legends? A sword and shield. Nah, Pokemon. Right, more than a hero, there's those things that appear to be Pokemon that stand out. Not just that, but those Pokemon appear to be holding a sword and shield as if they were using them. Mm-hmm. Anything else look interesting to you? What did, what, why is this not obvious? The hero was actually two people. Oh, good observation. There really were two heroes. But if that's the case, then why only the one statue at the Badu drop in? Good question. More than a statue of a hero or old tapestry, these ruins made in truly ancient times must show us the real truth. Which means... Okay. The sword is a Pokemon. Seems like at some point in history, the sword and shield were combined with the two actual Pokemon and treated as the same thing. But then what? They just faded from history? Two young heroes. The Sword and the Shield we were actually Pokemon, but why would the truth of these ruins be hidden when their stories were depicted in artwork? Good question. With your help, I really feel like we made a big discovery here. Thanks. Give you a couple of these so you keep giving it your best in the gym challenge. Yep, we're going to head to Balanlia. Hey, look, more revives. Okay. Since we're being covered up with that overstylized artwork. To be fair, that artwork looked like a child did it, so... Uh, long yet young lady Sonia, she's researching the truth about the ruins, right? Should we, she could be the granddaughter of Professor Magnolia? Maybe. What's this? The hero was actually two people on Pokemon. I feel it was more artistic before it got destroyed. I disagree. It looked like one of the programmer's children drew that.
Like, no offense, but man, that art was not well done. So, we should let the people of Bolonia know what happened with the mural. To reach Bologna, you must head through the Mushroom Forest. Of course you will. Okay, off to the Mushroom Forest. Okay, um, I mean, honestly, Mushroom Forest sounds like Flyer should be my lead, but... Doesn't, uh... Oh! <laughs> Meowth picked up a freaking Moonstone! Meowth, stop trying to stay in my party after you evolve. It's actually starting to get annoying. Isn't ice good against grass? Yes. Okay. Yeah, shout out to this Meowth who just keeps getting me rare items. Ooh. Ooh. I like the style here. Really? Wait, that... I just... I just randomly walked up to this and touched it and it did a thing. Also, what the hell in these imps? This did a thing! Wh why did randomly walking up and touch a thing do a thing? Also, Impidimp? Okay, what type is this thing gonna be? I don't even have a guess at this thing's typing. Oh, uh, let's Ice Shard. Dark Ghost, maybe? Thank you. Well, we're going to find out now. Imp's data will be added to its Pokedex. Dark Fairy. Okay. Through its nose, it sucks in the emanations produced by people and Pokemon when they feel annoyed. It thrives off this negative energy. Interesting. So, again, I just wandered up and touched a thing, and a thing happened. That is that is such just such amazing game design. I can't even begin to like shout give enough shout outs to the game for this. Oh hey, look, it has an evolution. For sake of decks, I want to know if things have evolutions. Not the moment. As I fill out the decks, I will have more information on that. Oh no, I hit myself. Like, as, as the decks gets more filled out, it'll be more and more obvious if I'm missing a catch or missing a full-on evolution. Hey, perfect. Excuse you. Well, I'm, I'm not going to hit you again. Like, Pillow Swine is done for the purposes of this combat. What a shitlord. Click. Thank you. I'm going to make the educated guess that this is the evolution of that thing. You want to learn Icicle Spear? Uh, okay, so you're a... Your special attack is definitely higher. Two to five times in a row, though. That accuracy is not bad. I think I'm going to skip Icy Wind because I'm willing to lose five... Uh, Well, no. Oh, whoops. That was a special type. That's fine. I'll, I'll be fine. And Mudbird levels up. Now, Mouth, do you finally level up? No. Dark Fairy. When it gets down on all fours, it's to beg for forgiveness. It's trying to lure opponents in so it can stab them with its spear-like hair. Oof. Avalanche is double power if you go second. Oh, good to know. Does this Meowth not evolve? Or am I forgetting what level Meowth evolves? Because I could have sworn Meowth should have evolved by now. 